Welcome to the story session. Today's story we are going to see is In My Garden. The author of this story and the illustrator are the same and the name is Purnima Chandar. This book is published by Pratham Books. So in this book, in this story, we are going to read something about collective nouns. What are collective nouns? A new name, right? We have not heard about this. I will just explain about that. So, a collective noun is a word which refers to a number of people or a number of things. For example, I'll just give you a simple example. If there are more people, say 10 to 50 people, and we call them as group of people, that group of people refers to collective nouns. One more example I'll just give you. If you see a lot of ants, that one is called as colony of ants. We call that as Colony of Ants. And this name, Colony of Ants, is called as collective noun. Okay? We are going to see some more collective nouns through this story. Let us go into the story. Isn't it interesting? Let's go into the story. I am going to the garden. It is time to water the plants. This girl enters the garden and she says, it is the time to water her plants. There is a bed of flowers, such bright and beautiful colors. Can you see? There are a lot of flowers here. So this lot of flowers together is called as bed of flowers. There is an army of caterpillars. They look just like the grass. Can you all see? There are lots of caterpillars here. So... They also look like grass, isn't it? Yes. These caterpillars are called army of caterpillars. There is a row of pebbles. They seem to form a spiral. So, spiral meaning... So, I will just show you a picture from which you can understand the meaning of a spiral. So this one, this here starts here and goes round and round like this and ends up here. So this is called as a spiral. So can you all see the pebbles? It has been arranged in a spiral form. There is an autumn of leaves scattered around. I hear them rustling in the wind. Scattered meaning spread. And rustling meaning the sound made by the dry leaves in the wind is called as rustling. Can you all see the leaves over here scattered here? Yes. Chip, chip. I look up and see a flock of birds. Can you all see? There are a lot of birds over here in the sky. Yes. They are called as flock of birds. Suddenly, a blanket of grey clouds forms in the sky. It looks like it's about to rain. When she sees 
the sky which is above, she sees grey clouds forming in a group which is called as a blanket of clouds. It looks like that it may rain any time. It is time to go indoors again. So she thinks, oh, it is going to rain. So I need to go inside the house. A collection of patterns. Group of things form patterns. From the patterns on the leaves to the patterns formed by the colorful flowers, there is so much that can be discovered when we look closely. What are they? Patterns meaning a repeated type of design is called a pattern. So here we will see some patterns in the flowers. So in this, this first picture it is one, two, three flowers. In this it is one, two, three and four. And again it is three flowers. And here again it is four flowers. So the bed of flowers interchange between groups of three and four. So the bed of flowers here change to three flowers at once and the other time it there are four flowers in a bed. And again here with the caterpillars the army of caterpillars is in a zigzag line. So this form of line is called as a going up, down, up, down is called as a zigzag line. So this caterpillars form a zigzag line. And the row of pebbles forms a spiral. Can you all see this picture? Starts from here, goes like this, round, round, round and round and ends up here. This pattern is called as a spiral pattern. Yes. Next one with the leaves. The autumn of leaves appears in a repeating pattern. Can you all see? One, two, three, four. Four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four. So, it also follows a pattern, a design. Here, the flock of birds forms a V-shaped pattern. So, here comes the V here. So, they all fly in a way that it makes a V. Like this, it flies. The blanket of clouds appears in horizontal lines. So they all form a line over here. Horizontal meaning forming lines from left to right is called horizontal. This form is called horizontal. Good. Did you all learn about collective nouns in this story? Yes. Thank you. Difficult words. Spiral. Winding in a continuous and gradually winding curve. Rustling, crackling sound that is caused by the movement of dry leaves or paper. Try these. Can you please list out the collective nouns we saw in this story? Next question. With the help of your teacher, List some five other collective nouns which are not there in the story.